Welcome back to Camp Witch Doctor. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put the flipper weapon onto your flipper box. If you're building big cheese, you have to attach the mouse onto your weapon. The mouse has two holes on the back and you'll see two holes on the cheese uh, flipper arm. So you're just gonna line up those holes and then put screws in each one. If you're building Wamburger, it doesn't have any attachment so your weapon is ready to go on that robot. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and take the flipper linkage and attach it to your servo. Take the servo horn and use your finger to push it forward like this. You want to be able to access that screw from the side like that. You're going to take your flipper linkage and the smallest screws in your kit. You can put this screw through either one of the lifter link holes, just like that. And you're going to install it onto the servo horn from this side of the servo horn. See that hole there? We're going to put the screw right in there. And then just like the other screws in the kit, we're going to use your Phillips head screwdriver to install it. Now you don't want to install this screw super tight because you want this to be able to turn slightly. So that's a little bit tight. So I'm going to go ahead and give it, loosen it by a little bit of a turn. And now this turns freely. If you have problems with this screw backing out when you're using your robot a lot, you can actually put a little dab of hot glue here to keep it from falling out. Now let's put the flipper arm onto your robot. You'll see that the flipper arm has these triangle holes here that match these triangle holes right here on the chassis. So you're going to align those and then we're going to put the shaft through them. We're going to attach it using the longer shaft that came with your kit. So I'm aligning these holes right here. You can see a little bit of light all the way through. I'm going to take the shaft and I'm going to kind of wiggle it until it goes all the way through. look like this with a little bit of shaft sticking out both sides so we have some room to put the shaft collars on. Now we're going to use the shaft collars to keep that shaft in place. Each of these shaft collars has a set screw. It's just like the wheels did when we installed those. You're going to go ahead and use the hex key in that shaft collar set screw and then we'll slide it over the shaft. Remember that if it doesn't slide over easily you might have to loosen the set screw a little bit to install it. All right, that's one side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. When you're doing the second side, it helps to put your finger on the opposite side so that you don't push the shaft through when you're trying to slide your shaft collar on. I'm gonna tighten that. And then I'm gonna to check to make sure that this slides freely, which it does. So you can see it's already starting to look like a flipper. When another robot drives up on here, you'll be able to flip them off. So the last thing we have left to do is to attach our servo to the weapon arm. So we'll take this link that we installed before and it's gonna screw right through this mount here. So we're gonna go ahead and line it up. And then you're gonna install the screw from the side with the countersink. So we'll go ahead and find that side. And then we're gonna take one of these screws just like you've used for most of your build. And we're gonna put it in that hole, making sure it goes through the flipper link all the way to the other side. Then we'll use your Phillips screwdriver to install it. So it doesn't need to be super tight, just as soon as you feel it's a little bit harder to put in, you can go ahead and stop there. All right, so now you can see when you push it forward and back, you can hear that servo moving. Now let me show you how to adjust the position of this flipper arm using the trim on your transmitter. Take your transmitter and start by checking that the throttle stick is all the way down. This is the weapon stick. The trim on your transmitter should be centered. So if it's not, go ahead and center it now. Then I'm gonna turn on the transmitter and I'm gonna go ahead and turn your robot on. So you saw that the position adjusted a little bit. That's because it's gonna to adjust to wherever your stick is. So let's make sure that it's working correctly. All right, that looks great. Now, if I wanna adjust the position of this flipper arm, I can use the trim to do that. So if I slide the trim up, you saw that it adjusted this flipper arm up. Now, if I move it down, it adjusts the flipper arm down. This lets you fine tune the position of your flipper arm without having to go back and change the servo horn position on your servo. So this is a lot easier to do. So if you want it to be as easy as possible to self right, you can put this trim all the way to the top so that the flipper arm is as forward as possible. If you want it to be easier for other robots to drive on top of your robot so you can flip them, you can put it all the way down. I like to keep it somewhere in the middle so it can do both well 
but it's entirely up to you and you can play with this setting to see what works best for you. So the last thing left to do with this robot, if you haven't done so already, is to put the top plate on. You want to make sure that there's no wires that you're going to pinch when you put it on. And then you slide it in from the back and just install each of the screws on the top plate there to make sure it's installed securely. All right, that's it for the flipper robots. Congratulations on getting to this point in your build. Tune into the next video to see how we add some color and get ready for battle. Thank <laughs> you.